morning, ladies and gents, uh, at the old new covert spot. We have my technical advisor in attendance, wearing that smock that we dibbled on, so it looks a lot better on you than me. Oh, thanks, mate. It's um, a good usable smock, though. It is, mate. Yeah, that was a rare find, so, wasn't it? Yeah, rare. Because yeah. it is like, 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 like 1950s issues, American Arctic smock, you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But, um, a bit of bannock bread, that's it. Yeah, just doing some bannock. Yeah. Yeah. Had some eggs and I sort of been testing out these new. Uh, these new grills that Trent's been making, making, which I've been asking to make for a while. He's basically very same, very similar to that, yeah. but he's just got a little bit um, slight different than normal designs. Obviously, there's no legs on this one, so yeah. it's all designed to be put up uh, up against two uh, bits of wood. And this is a little smaller one that uh, yeah. just chucked together, which uh, to me, I will use this one a lot more just yeah. because of the size. And I think it'll yeah, yeah, cater for people who want to go a bit more lightweight. That one, obviously, because it ain't got no legs on it as well. You know, he's more lightweight and he, it's thin and it fits in the back of the pack really nice and easy. Yeah, yeah. And it's heavy gauge that'll last. That like, is heavy gauge, yeah. That will out. Uh, uh, when I say heavy gauge, it's robust, yeah. yeah very as robust as you want when yep. you're paying out uh, for it and it will outlast you, sir. Yeah. Is that fair? Yep. Yeah. Definitely. This, fair, no, as long as you look after it and yeah. clean it and oil it, you know what yeah. I mean, um, it will go on forever. Forever. Um, you know, the, the, the thing, I can't think what gauge it is. I think it's like an 8mm gauge on that. Yeah. Um, but. You know, I've had it over this fire. It's been well, you, been out for like the last hour. Could yeah. Be nice. I mean, you don't put nothing on your brother's site or whatever. Well, you you tell him what's what what people want, mate. And well, it's about I don't, being you know, rude like about all it. these things, you know, you just cater to what you, you know, what you need really. Yeah. And as long as it works and it does the job that you know you want it to do, then I think it's a go on. Yeah. And yeah. there's too many cheap. Crappy Mickey Mouse ones out there, which are flimsy, they break, you know. Amazon I mean, ones, mate. Up. Yeah, don't yeah, get me wrong, I, mean, I, yeah. I, I, I bought a couple, mate. That's the, only, that's the real reason why he started all that up, because you couldn't, you know, when I was looking for something like this, you couldn't buy it. No. You know what I mean? Um, and I had the old Coleman's, whatever it is, crappy thin one with the legs that come out, and it's <laughs> mangled no. and bent, you know yeah. what I mean? Um, right for like twice a year campers and yeah, things yeah, like Amazon, but, you know, mate. saying like this will last you, yeah. you know, you buy it, that's it, you bought it, you know what I mean? That's, uh, no, it's, uh, and it's always fully tested out before it even yeah, goes yeah. anywhere near Another little thing with this as well is that, and it does work because I've tested it, just get four uh, uh, IPK pegs yeah. or just get four bits of sticks, ram it in and out, a slight angle, through them holes out. And well, if you so want a little try a pod, you can, you know what I mean? Um, I happen to have IPK takes with me, sir. Yeah, so we'll, yeah. we'll, I'll, I'll take your word on yeah, that, we'll sir. I'll, yeah, I'll take yeah, your word it on that, sir. Really well. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll And, um, you know, that's if you was having a fire that way. You'd yeah. have it the other way around. And, Long uh, way, sir. Well, it's fine. Yeah. Well, but, uh, happens, I've got some IPK pegs, so we'll give it a go. Because yeah, yeah. then that's just, you're giving people Another options. Another option, yeah. yeah. Which is, which, or if you don't want to, I've tried it. Just get four, you know, like, if he's making wooden pegs, you know, yeah. tent pegs. It's that sort of design, really. Put to go around, brand, slight angle, you know what I mean, yeah. and uh, get a friction job done. of him at an angle holds him yeah. up. Because he, he does the ones with the legs that click over nicely yeah, and that as yeah, well, mate. So it's just cater, basically catering for everything, really, yeah. you know what I mean? Oh, that bannock, sir. It's yeah. well over, that's very nice, very nice, sir. Yeah, I'm well, sure you'll have a big bit. <laughs> <laughs> but we're over here, that's uh, just at the new covert spot there, and uh, got your little um, very rare uh, British Army issue. Um, I don't mean like copy, but our take on the old, uh, yeah. Shout out LSC. Very, very rare, sir. Very, very rare. Uh, and they were definitely made for people who spend a lot of time in the jungle, Malaysia and places like that. Because it's, it's, like it's just like a copy of a hoochie, really, but yeah. to me, it's more lightweight than a hoochie. Yeah. I mean. yeah. But even look at the eyelets, you know, I mean, they're spot on. Yeah, I mean. It, it's manufacturer's absolutely spot on, sir. And you had a nice little result on that, mate, didn't you? Yeah, it weren't a lot of money at all, no, to be honest. I couldn't say no to it for 20 no. quid, you know what I mean? Um, and same as I did on the um, mortar, mortar tent. Your mortar, yeah, I ain't yeah. seen that. No, yet. no. no. Um, but yeah, to say there was one of them for £50 delivered to me door, it's beyond unicorn poo. <laughs> Yeah, that's what somebody said when I was asking, you know, like on Cooper's Corner, you know, like the pages, like you're yeah, joking, yeah. mate, yeah. Um, you know, he, he, just rare as, but this one's brand new. Yeah. Um, it's uh, still in a package, no yeah. DNA stains anywhere. <laughs> you know, it's older, so just yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah. Uh, very simple, single skin, it's meant to go over and cover the ammunition and the mortar. Um, 50 quid to me door. Cheers, Russ. Uh, he, he flicked me the link, and a few people have had them. One bloke said, uh, I think it was. Um, he said, well, I'll go a lot 
bike camping. I'll get my bike in there as well, won't I? Yeah. I mean, you will, mate. You yeah, will get size. your bike in there. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. did. I come over uh, with uh, Big Mike, my brother. Yeah. Um, did a little bit of filming, mate. But as I say, every time I'm coming out in the woods now, I ain't necessarily filming. You know what I mean? Uh, you had a little snooze and all that, you said? Oh, you I know, did, sir. Too. I did, yeah. While well, they were talking away and that, yeah. yeah, yeah. Tired from work, mate. But yeah, I've got the uh, chair Mac up there. Gonna have a little play about with that. I've actually got some whoopee slings, and yes, that is a that is a spoon in there, <laughs> as opposed to a bit of wood. Uh, just tinkering about with this now, just kind of finalising the design. I think already, see the back. I'm just gonna have to shorten the back a little bit. But I've just sat in that, and uh, ladies and gents, I could be asleep in that in about ten minutes. Actually, that's stretching it a bit. Five. <laughs> that had a nice little brute. And uh, got Baldrick the Wonder Dog. <laughs> and there, uh, we still get the. Uh, it's lovely being in the woods, mate, wasn't it? Literally just, just like there, um, about 60 metres away, with a big herd of deer come through. But obviously, uh, they always turn up when you ain't got your, your camera there. But they hang about for a bit as well, didn't they? Yeah, they love yeah. It. Yeah. It's always nice seeing like, things like that. Yeah. Bloody monk jungle, yeah. Yeah, but very Malaysian jungle setup we have here. So yes, very sass, yeah. very sass. Goes <laughs> nice with my hammock. Yeah. One of your hammocks. Anyway. Is that one that I made? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Let's have a look then. <laughs> well, it's perfect with it. Oh, right. Oh yeah, it's, I can tell the sewing anywhere, sir, so, yeah. I, I sell that well, mate, because you use this all the time. Oh yeah, it is the nylon one, mate, yeah, the parachute. It's, it's, you know what it's great about it? it actually, it's, it's a good size, but packs down really, really thin, thin material, yeah. lightweight. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's a really that. nice quality material. Yeah. I'd like to get some more of it, actually. Only the best, sir. I've got yeah. a link for that if you want. Yeah, yeah, I might get some. Yeah, I've got a link. I might make some, like, um... Yeah, it's just some lightweight, like, not only just something like that, I'm not really worried about that, but sort of bags and stuff like that, or yeah. covers, you know what I mean? Yeah, we've got a link for that, so it's not yeah. like different colours. I might get some lightweight, uh, yeah. but as we see there, the uh, Eddie Mac sewing, don't don't muck about it. If one goes, you don't want to load it. Because <laughs> we're all getting on a bit, sir, and we're all putting on an extra inch, as we do, because we don't do the mileage we used to do. And it's Mr Baldrick, look. Baldrick, what are you doing? Baldrick, what are you doing? You've been doing like proper load of cooking on all your outings and that, mate, and you? And he was unfaithful out on your own with Des. Mm. Yeah, and there's something about playing with handles or whatever it was, sir. <laughs> <laughs> You're not being unfaithful to me, sir, are you? But the, uh, just for Marty, who is in Portugal at the moment, probably playing golf. Yeah. At the uh, local YMCA club, no doubt, you know what I mean? And have a pink evening on a Thursday, didn't they? Marty well, be well in there. Right, yeah, he is, bless him. Well, he's retired, isn't he? Um, that might the lateral uh, movement shelter there. But yeah, I've got a coffee, so I'm to get that down my neck, have a little tinker about with this, because the only thing that's different now is, just to get it a lot tighter, and I think it's definitely going to work, is uh, I bought some whoopee slings, DD ones. Uh, I think they were about 11 or 12 quid when I was at the Bushcraft Show, just to give that some rigidity, make it ultimately adjustable. And that seems to be working now. So that's the chair mac. Oh, let me see Mr Baldrick, he's got himself a stuffy stick. Mr Baldrick, do you want to give me that stick? Give me that stick. Give me that stick. Mine. Mine. Give me that. Give me that. Mine. Mine. My stuffy stick. He says, bugger off. <laughs> nice one. Baldy, give me that. Give me that. Uh. <laughs> got a little mat down there, bless. Got the old uh, IPK pegs. And it's all about having stuff that you'd have with you anyway, mate, yeah, as well, wasn't it? Yeah. There already without even thinking about it, and you just got to... That's pretty good, do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, 
that's why it's pretty yeah. stable that. You know what I mean? There's water in that. Got There's done. actually water in that, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, I could have done that it. one a bit prettier, but... Yeah, you know well, that's I mean. just the first time you've had the IPKs out and done it, yeah. right, yeah. But so that is, like, your, your proper first, first test ever. And it's all about, like I said, having the stuff with you, so yeah. you can push it up if you need. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, with them, uh, if you, anyone, obviously, has got IPKs, I'm pretty sure that by turning these the other way around, they might be able to work as, as a stopper, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I, I just put like little um, key ring pulls, yeah. cost pennies, you get zillions of them off AliExpress mate, uh, just to make them easier to pull out and so your, 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 your guard line don't pull off the top line, you know, mm. there's a little thing to get your finger in to pull them out as well. And I think I might have just touched on some of there, sir, because that's looking well, good already. Well, if you had these, it's just an example, if someone yeah. does have, have, you know, have these sort of things, yeah. you know, you work the other way, but you yeah. know, it's just an example that you could use anything that watch. And they're just my 10 pegs, full yeah, stop. Yeah, there's, there's no, I, I never even knew you are bringing this stuff, mate. Yeah, so no, this is at, hot off the press, sir, as we say, yeah? So no, there's another way of doing yeah. it, you know what I mean? But you say you could use almost anything you wanted, really. Yeah. But that'll do the job perfectly. Definitely, mate. What about the old cut one, mate, just to yeah. see if I was underneath and that's the job done? Yeah. How simple is that? Yeah. Keep, Keep it simple, keep it shooting and it'll work, sir. Yeah, if you didn't time. have any wood or anything, or just a little bit of wood to yeah. it and whatnot, you had these, do the there. job perfect. Yeah, nice one. Yeah. Um, and there was no, uh, no plan in there, ladies no, and gentlemen. No, they're, just, they're just my just camp bags, there's my bag. Yeah. You know what I mean? Goes on. But it's definitely with the little ring pulls on there, yeah, mate. Yeah, you need that, yeah, yeah. 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 With the IP peg, uh, just the, the perfect 10 peg as it goes, mate, yeah. don't cost a lot. You've got the material yeah. and you've got the rope, you know what I mean? A fiver, six quid. And that's pretty sturdy, you know what I mean? I'm pretty sure I could stand on that, you yeah. know what I mean? And, uh, yeah. And obviously, if you had the smaller one, do the same with yeah. the smaller one. Um, all I've done there, ladies and gentlemen, is put a, a, a ring pull through the hole. Yeah. Um, it just means that, you know, if you want to pull it out, you can. Well, I think you've done that. Yeah, yeah. Um, That's just how I do my DB Perkins. So that literally was the first time it was. It's been done there, mate. Yeah, I've just, done. I've used IPK just to just to test it in the garden, oh, you know, in the garden. Oh, right, and okay. I knew it worked because I tried yeah. it, and I've also tried it with some wood as well. But, um, but I'll um, put you the link to a little, get little, little option with them. You know what I mean? Yeah. You got yourself a. Because I'll bring you out a, um, a wedge of them next time, mate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that, that, that works cracking, that does. <clears> so, so it's all about what you got with you and using it, mate. Yeah, yeah. that's uh, pretty on point, that, sir. Yeah, sweet, nice. And uh, obviously they'll be soon. Uh, yeah, Trev's going to be making a bunch of these soon. I mean, yeah. literally, hopefully by the time this is done, we'll have a load of them. You know what I mean? Yeah. He's make a, a, yeah, batch a smaller of them. one. And they're not going to be expensive. Which is it hot. You'd think they'd be a lot heavier than they are, though, yeah. mate. Yeah. But it's good case still. You know, yeah. you ain't gonna, I can't see that. You'd have to really bend it. You know what I mean? Or be in yeah. heat. Oh, well, that'd take me weight if the logs would, anyway. Yeah, yeah. Well, the steel was like proper on point, mate. So you know, it's a uh, so. But it's just a cheaper, more simpler setup for you. Know, it's going to be a bit more lightweight. Yeah. Oh. You know what I mean? And if you wanted, you've got the IPK pegs there, just yeah. which you'd have on you anyway. You know, if you're smart, because you know there's nothing, there's no better ten peg than an IPK. No, peg, no, mate. Never no. Never, no. Little uh, ring pull at the top, little key ring pull, job done. That's Mr. Baldrick's little mat there. A bit tense. It's a bit burger. And the old uh, chair mat there. I've uh, had a little sit in that because all I did there was, um, as opposed to the, um, I'd be uh, sorry, the uh, paracord, I've just substituted uh, a uh, whoopee sling, and that's really is working well. There's very little, very little. Once you sit in it, you just adjust it. Job done, and it's now just exactly how far I want it off the floor. So when my legs come out and go down, they just touch the floor. Um, yeah, I am uh, proper happy with that. Well, ladies and gents, uh, you know what I'm like. Uh, bit of a magpie, like uh, silver shiny things. Um, I've had it for a little while, just never really showed it on cam. It's uh, another little throw down uh, fire stove. Um, comes in the order, I think it was just plus 20 quid. Um, I'll, I'll stick the price in later on. Got it off AliExpress. Um, I believe it to be an unbranded item. You can get one of these um, and it's got Rubens on it and it costs you considerably more. I've had a look at the Rubens one, it's exactly the same. 
I think it's the pe people that make it for ribbons and they put the ribbons crest on it and then ribbons sell it with the, the appropriate mark markup which is about generally to three to four hundred percent. Um, bit of an afterthought really because I was just going to get uh, some more one. Comes in a nice bag ladies and gents, everything you'd need in it. Zip bag, Cordura nylon, no dramas with it, goes in and out, zips up, keeps all your kit clean. Um, obviously if I stay with this one it becomes my go to sort of firebox type stove um, I would make myself a different pouch for it but absolutely nothing wrong with that whatsoever and uh, has a nice grill pan to the stove as you can see I've already just prepared it uh, ash pan comes in and out at the bottom and uh, what I really like about it it's got a little look on there and uh, that can come down so you can use longer pieces of wood to actually have in the fire there and like I say, it's coming in at just, uh, I think it was about 24 quid, something like that. Uh, the thing I've not really worked out is why them little handles are there. But uh, like I say, um, plenty of air getting there when you, when you want it. And when you want, you've got coals on there. Close it up. Obviously it's got air holes all around the side at the bottom there. Plenty of air getting in there. Obviously, see, I've had a burn with this last time I was out. Um, I can't remember if I did any filming, but if I did any filming, I'll drop it in now. Um, but yeah, um, picked this up just before I went to the bushcraft show or, or it arrived and uh, pretty happy with that. It's a, it's a good gauge metal, so but um, it's everything you'd want uh, and it just collapses in at the sides on the hinge then it goes flat. The actual bottom grate thing just flips up. Um, I'll show you when I put it away. But yeah, nice little bit of kit for uh, not, a, not, a, not a lot of donner. And uh, I know as David's done, you can put two logs together, put a grid over it, you know, proper oldie stoldy bushcraft, but I don't leave fire scars and that. And I don't mind carrying around a little um, covert cooker. But so I'll get this fired up and uh, get me brew on, and uh, I'll bring it back, ladies and gents. All right, gents, it's uh, going a lot of good now. Got me old pot of water on there. And what I do like about it, when you shut that up, because um, of the um, down the sides there at the bottom, you have got um, plenty of air holes. It's almost got like a rocket stove effect. The air comes in from the bottom, and as you can see, it sort of um, takes it up. Obviously, there's a bit of a, a gap here where the air can get in as well. But I'm proper liking this though. Um, yeah, it's uh, just doing the business, and for not a lot of uh, not a lot of dollar. I'll drop the link in as I always do. Let your eyes be your guide. No skin off my nose. But I, I do, I must admit, have a few of these little stoves now. Um, this may well be my last one, but I said that about tents, didn't I? And then that mortar, mortar, mortar crew tent come up for 50 quid. <laughs> That's been on my tick list for a long time, ladies and gents. I think I took some film out of that uh, last time I come over. I haven't uploaded it. If it's still on and it's something decent, I'll stick the uh, mortar crew um, tent. Oh, hang on. This is uh, going there, a few shavings, a uh, little bit of preparation on the old wood and uh, just for quickness, uh, one of my little um, mop waxed um, fire starters, give it a quick uh, shake out, break down the wick, back up, wax a bit, fluff it up and it's, it, it, these things are always working for me every single time and uh, got a, a mop from the pound shop, a candle from the pound shop and I've got, you know, um, years worth of uh, really good little fire lighters. And uh, here we can see ladies and gents, yeah, just a simple stove, works. Nice ash plate at the bottom, grill there, so it's, uh, there's always airflow coming in from underneath. The only thing I'd need to do, wood's a bit damn light, and you know, I could have cut them up a bit thinner, or battened them in half, is um, just give it a quick blow, uh, get a bit of oxygen in there. Uh, and that's obviously Pushing it up today in the woods, I'm actually doing some cooking. I'm not going to be picked up till about 6 o'clock. Got a nice bit of um, pasta in there. And, uh, oh, Don Mio, I like the posh, I like, I like the posh worms, yeah. Um, pasta sauce, and it's going to be a carbonara. So I'm going to be doing myself a pasta carbonara. Now, that just sounds posh to me. A bit Italian, which means there's probably a lot of feathers and a lot of, like, gears that go backwards in their vehicles. But anyway... Ah, uh, hello, my name is Anthony, and I come from Italy. As if that makes them some sort of sex squad, just because they were born in Italy. No, but you get that a lot, sir, anyway. Anyway, but there we go, ladies and gents, and uh, it's uh, got me brew there. So I'll soon be sitting in Chair Mac. 
that's somewhat like uh, all I did last time was uh, shorten the edges a bit sorry the sides a bit and the back needs to be shortened a little bit more uh, and that's more than solved the problems with the old whoopee slings which you can probably see just there uh, tight as you like, tight as a virgin's fanny now that is and yeah rather than use a bit of wood I've used a metal spoon as a <laughs> Oh no, my toggle point there. Well, it's going to boil your spoon, sir. <laughs> Good point, well brought up. <laughs> no, I've got my bone spoon there, sir. Very bushcrafty. There's a bone spoon there I've got, I've got from the Living History Show. Yeah, that's just bubbling up nicely, that is. I mean, David's fair is like, he's in, he's in the usual position. Look at him. What, man? Can't be working too hard, mate, when you're out of here. You have, sir, you have, sir. Otherwise, it's not worth coming. Mr. Baldrick, just come back from a patrol. Yeah, no, we, we ain't got no gooks about that. All the gooks gone? Yeah, yeah. Done a gook check, that. Yeah. Right, Mr. Barley. He done alright with the bannock there, didn't he? Like that. Yeah, he done alright, eh? Got work, didn't he? Yeah. And that egg, he got a bit of eggs, didn't he? Yeah, well, he'll eat anything. Mmm. But it's just nice, cool. A little bit of a breeze, mate. Yeah, Absolutely. It's quite nice, yeah, yeah, perfect weather. Not too hot and sweaty. And there's Mr. Baldwin. Just trying to sniff out some grub, ain't you? Oh no, he's got another staffy stick. It's funny, mate, when you're trying to get the, the sticks for your fire, he kept nicking them, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that one, you can't burn that as a staffy stick. Oh, look, look, look. Good view is his pencil sharp, mate. Look. Uh, <laughs> Oh, kill this day. Yeah. Oh, bless him. So loves it when he sees the Bergen come down, mate. The Scooby Snacks go in. He does this round and round thing, and then this kind of backflip thing that dogs are not really supposed to do. But well, I don't think I've never seen anyone do it. He's so happy, mate. You know what I mean? Click his lead on. He's like, I'm going out of the woods. It's my best thing. It's my best thing. I'm going out with the boys. Yeah. Oh, he's the cleverest dog I've ever known, mate. You know. That's why I probably called him Baldrick. It's apt. <laughs> Carbonara in there and uh, just giving that final heat up there. God bless Mike Smith if you're watching this, they'll be thinking, oh, look at all that washing up I could be doing. Oh, Mike Smith washing up. Mm. Um, uh, right, ladies and gents, here's the uh, out in its natural habitat where it belongs, the uh, Mac chair. Um, I've had a little tinker about with it now and I think that's roughly how it's going to be, to be perfectly honest. I think I've just had a kip in it. <laughs> I have a nice oh, no. well, yeah. Sorry, I was caught with a fork. Yeah. <laughs> you must have nodded off for a good couple of hours in there. Yeah, um, which is that right. Yeah, but it's now, only addition I've done to it really is the, uh, what do I call it? The, uh, the uh, well, whoopee slings you've the got on it. Slings, yeah, which makes it as you know, tight as you like. The, the, the Paris cord always had a bit of giving it. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. Do. But yeah, got me little there. And uh, I've got a little uh, pillow there. I don't know where it's gone. Um, but that's it, yeah. Not exactly a pocket thing, but I tell you what, it's eminently comfortable, ladies and gents. And uh, there you go. There's another decoration. Nice one, mate. The yeah. Mac chair. The Mac chair. <laughs> uh, that seemed to work all right, didn't it? Now you've done a little sort of alt and tinkering with it, get it right. Works, works cool. All right, ladies and gents, that's a couple of times I've been out now. Um, if it was going to go wrong, heat warping, it would have done so. It hasn't done so. Um, I say I like the way the little um, front flap drops down, it's ever so handy, especially for feeding your logs in. Uh, it's brewed me and fed me on uh, a couple of occasions now, and uh, yeah, I think that's a good little result there. It's like the Reuben stove, uh, I believe it's unbranded, it's exactly the same, just hasn't got any um, branding on it. And ergo, it's cheaper, ladies and gents. So if you like to look at that, I'll stick the link in again. No skin off my nose if you buy one or not, but I'm happy with that stove. And uh, folding it away can be easier. Top grill. Pull out the ash pan. Put that thing inside. The actual floor plate just folds down. That goes in there. That goes in there. And it's quite nicely 
back in the bag with no dramas whatsoever. Kind of a little less uh, heavy gauge material, hence it's a bit lighter than you know the firebox stoves or the bush box stoves. I'll weigh that when I get in anyway, ladies and gents. But yeah, for um, 20 summer quid, absolutely blinding bit of kit. Just makes life a bit easier. Let me see Mr. Baldrick right to the last, killing six. Just been on a big mega patrol. Come zooming back. And uh, yeah, it's getting on for half five now. I'm just loving the sun going down. Oh, you know, this the, the evening. Dave's gone. Table and chairs there, and uh, yeah, ladies and gents, uh, I've sort of packed up. Waiting for a little ding dong, and uh, she'll come and pick me up. <laughs> we have Mr. 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 Baldwin, we won't have a slappy stick, Baldwin. <laughs> so that's my stick then. There's a little table we've just been doing, well, practicing some feather sticks and stuff like that, ladies and gents. So I'll leave that there for next time. But apart from the couple of structures, you wouldn't know we've been here. Mr. Bowley. <laughs> what you doing? Audrey, what you doing? <laughs> anyway, ladies and gents, yeah, if you watch this far, uh, cheers and uh, always appreciate you watching my films. And uh, I'll, see, I'll see you on the matter about next time. Take care.